<laughs> Get set. Go! It's a fast-paced jack attack as these two teams race to clean up 55 gallons of messy slop and pan it into tiny tubes. The first team to reach the line wins a doctoral degree in custodiology and 20 bucks to control the most unsanitary show on TV. Here and let's play some super sloppy double there. It's super sloppy double there. And now here's your super sloppy host. Mr. Clean himself, Mark Summers. Oh. Hi there. Thanks, audience. Thank you, Harvey. Welcome to Super Sloppy Double Day. It's the show where you slide right away into a bunch of gack, and then you try and get $20. Boy, that was great. They all just sort of slid in there, and uh, the floor is cushioned. Don't worry, folks. It's, it's safe up here. I've fallen a couple of times anyway. And uh, gee whiz, we're ready to meet our teams. To my right, they call themselves the Putrid Pustules, Richard and Amy. Let's hear it for them. They have $20. <laughs> Richard, you have a bus? Yeah. Sorry to wake you up there. I didn't mean that. Uh, what kind of bus do you have? The yellow one. And uh, <laughs> you sing on this bus, it says? Yep, bad to the bone. Oh, that's nice. All right. And uh, Amy yells at her sister in her sleep. Uh, you mean she'll be sleeping and you'll go, <laughs> like that or what? Sort of. Sort of. OK. Why not? Team to my left. They call themselves the obtuse nugatory noggins. Nate and Stephanie. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> I understand that uh, Nate does this thing with his cheeks. What is it that you do with your cheeks, Nate? Well, if I blow them up. Could you uh, demonstrate this for me? Oh, that is, uh, <laughs> that's fairly disgusting. Thank you. And uh, Stephanie likes to stand on other people's heads. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for that. Yeah, um, I'm a cheerleader, and I'm the smallest one in my squad. So I usually like stand on people's shoulders and let because when we do mounts. You end up on the top there. Is that scary? Uh, sometimes, yeah. yeah I bet it is. You've never fallen, have you? No. Oh, good. All right, no money just yet. Let's talk about the rules here on uh, Super Sloppy Double Dare. And they go something like this. like this. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount. And then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to Nate and Stephanie. Richard and Amy have control of this $10 question. What president is nicknamed the father of the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. You are right, at $10. That wasn't a very easy question either. That was good. Okay, putrid pustules. In the Flintstones, what's the name of the lodge that Fred and Barney belong to? Worth 10 or you could dare them. Dare. Now we're at 20. Get on the board here. In the Flintstones, what's the name of the lodge that Fred and Barney belong to? Double Dare. Double dare. Worth 40, or you could take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's the Royal Order of Water Buffaloes, and we have a $40 physical challenge right down here for Richard and Amy. <laughs> Amy, all your life, you've probably played with food. Am I right in assuming that? Right. Oh, and I bet you one day you said, if I could ever sit in the biggest bowl of spaghetti, that would be my dream. Have you ever said that? No. Oh, well, gee whiz, I'm going to let you experience that anyway. Dave is sitting in your spaghetti currently. And excuse me, Dave, why are you sitting in that spaghetti? I had a dream of sitting in the largest plate of spaghetti, and here I am. <laughs> and here he is. Imagine that. Okay, well, uh, you get to go in there, Amy. That's your job right now. You can share the space with uh, Dave if you'd like, or he can move out. It's up to him. Now, spaghettis are fine by themselves, but meatballs would make that dish all the more uh, tasty. So when I say go, you pick up one of these meatballs and pull this all the way back as far as you can and send a meatball over there to your partner. And you must catch them in the air. In fact, you must catch four meatballs in the air. That seems easy. Can you pull that back? Let me see if you have enough strength. Oh, you're terrific. And you send that back. All right. And then after you catch four in the air, they can't bounce. They must catch them in the air. You know what we have up above you? What? Some of the best marinara sauce ever concocted by our crew here at Super Sloppy Double Dare. So after he catches four meatballs, as she does, Amy does, you come over here and you make sure that you pull on this handle and down will come the marinara sauce and we'll have human spaghetti and meatballs. Sounds terrific. If you can do all that in 30 seconds, we'll give you an additional $40. On your mark, get set, go! Send the first meatball in there. And we have a stand up. We'll all the way back down. We'll do it. This thing has to stay down. that to work. 
feel to be a human spaghetti meatball person? Different. Different. I'm sure it did. And we're going to come back with a lot more different things here on Super Spot Double Don't worry. Come on up on that mess. Welcome back. It's still round one here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. We tried to make spaghetti and meatballs and uh, weren't quite successful enough. So now Nate and Stephanie have $40 in control of this question. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. What's the second largest? Bring in a 50 or you could dare them. Saturn? You are right. Add $10. Saturn is indeed the answer. I'd like to know, Nate and Stephanie, what is a Unimog? Is it a one-eyed monster in a Godzilla movie? Or is it a machine that cleans the streets? Or is it a coffee mug with one handle? A Unimog. Or you could dare them. Um, second one. Second one, a machine that cleans the streets. You are right. Add another $10. Was that just a good guess? Just a good just guess. Just a good guess. Okay, you were lucky on that one. In the poem, Casey at the Bat, what was the hometown of Casey's baseball team? Bring you to $70 or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth 20, bring you up to 50. The poem was Casey at the Bat. What was the hometown of Casey's baseball team? Double dare. Now worth 40 or we could take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It was Mudville, the Mudville Nine, and we have a $40 physical challenge right down over here. This is one that you really have to think, okay? This is called Waterworks, and we have a container of water up here. And when I say go, Robin will release that water. And I want you to fill this container right down over here. And the way you do that is by arranging the pipes in the proper order. Now, I will tell you that we should start off, obviously, with the big one. And get it right under the spout. She'll turn that on. Now, you must get the other ones directly underneath so that the water goes either in a straight line, a crooked line, whatever you want to do. But you want to have this container at the bottom so it collects all the water. And if you fill it past the line in 30 seconds, seconds or less, we're going to give you an additional $40. Otherwise, the lead will change. We've done it before. I've seen it. But let's see if you can do it. You have 30 seconds. On your mark. Get set. Go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. you up to 70. They actually had that physical challenge accomplished, and when they moved all of them together, the main one was pushed out of the range of that container. And now we have $70 for Richard and Amy, and they have control of this $10 question. Good try there, though, Nate and Stephanie. How many zeros are there in the number one trillion? Dare. Now worth $20. You could take the lead. How many zeros are there in one trillion? You could double dare them back. Twelve. You are right. Add twenty dollars. Twelve is the answer. Great game here today. Seesaw battle and the obtuse nugatory noggins have control. The 1987 movie La Bamba was based on the life of what famous rock and roll singer? Richie Valens. Right again. You now have ninety dollars. La 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 Bamba. What's the only animal that has four knees? Is it the giraffe, the elephant, or the snake? Or you could dare them. Giraffe? Giraffe is incorrect. It's an elephant. No dare at stake, no money changing place. But you could come within $10 of the lead if you answer this correctly. What basketball great's original name was Lou Alcinder? Bring it to 80. Dare. dare. Now worth 20. What basketball great's original name was Lou Alcinder? Double dare. Now worth $40. Ooh, it's Kareem Abdul Jabbar, and that sound means the end of round one with $90. Welcome back to the laboratory. This is round two on Super Sloppy Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And if you hear this sound, 
That means the game is over. Going for forty dollars and control of round two. Bah. Uh, this is involving uh, our famous friend Frankenstein, and Frank is up here, but the rest of Stein is over here. You must find the blue body and put it up to the rest of Frankenstein with the legs and the arms. You find the red body and do the same thing. The first team to do that gets forty dollars and control of round two. Good luck. <laughs> On your mark. Get set. Go! Find the right body and there goes the red one, there goes the blue one. Connect it up there and who can get that body together? I ain't got nobody and nobody's got me. Oh, yeah, be careful. Slip around there. They're just hanging around here today. Hey, Sir Ron Jones, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing today? And we have our leg going up over here on the red side. Boy, that was really close. Move over here and play some more. Super sloppy double there. That was very, very close. The blue team was way ahead there, and then the red team uh, was way ahead, and it seems that the blue team got the money. They now have $110 and control of this $20 question. What U.S. state, bound on the north by Tennessee, was named for two Indian words meaning father of waters? There. Worth $40. This would give you the lead. What U.S. state, bound on the north by Tennessee, was named for two Indian words meaning father of waters? Double dare. Now worth 80 or we could take a physical challenge. Mississippi. You are right. And $80. Holy cow. Now, was that a good guess or did you really know? Um, I figured it out on the dare. Figured it out. That is terrific. Nice job there. $190. I love when that happens when they play strategy on this game. It really does work. Femur, tibia, and fibula are all bones found in what part of the body? There. You now have a chance to get 40 additional dollars. Femur, tibia, and fibula, they're all bones found in what part of the body? The leg. You are right. You now have $130. Two very intelligent teams here today on Super Sloppy Double Dare. What is a Kidderminster? Is it a German comedian, a type of carpet in England, or a young student in Australia? A Kidderminster. Or you could dare them. The last one. The last one. A young student in Australia. No, it's a type of carpet in England. No dare at stake. No money changing place. Control back to Richard and Amy. Name the only president to remain a bachelor in the White House. Dare. dare. Now worth $40. Name the only president to remain a bachelor in the White House. Double dare. Now worth 80 or the physical challenge. Physical, physical challenge. challenge. It was James Buchanan. We have an $80 physical challenge down here for Richard and Amy. Could decide the game. We'll find out. Ever seen the movie King Kong? Yeah. One of you has to be a monkey and one of you gets to uh, do other things. Who would like to be the monkey? He would. He would? Oh, good. You go right over there and put on that Fay Ray outfit. And Robin, you look marvelous over there. You have to come over here because we need monkey bananas. Bananas are what monkeys eat and that gorilla will get them. How? Well, up here in the banana tree, if you shake it, bananas will fall down, okay? And you must take four bananas and Put them in a ball, just scrunch them up, and put them right here in that container. And then you must take three handfuls, one, two, three handfuls from this container on top of those bananas and make a banana cream pie. And then I want you to feed the bananas to the monkey, but in a difficult way, because I want you to pick up this container with the four smashed bananas and the whipped cream and put it right here in your partner's face. Boom, just like that, all right? Sounds like fun. If you can do that, shake down the bananas, make four into a ball, put three handfuls in there in 20 seconds and hit your partner. We're going to give you 80 additional dollars. Otherwise, we have a lead change. Good luck. On your mark, get set, go! Shake that tree, shake it hard, higher than that. Shake that tree hard. And I know there are bananas up there. I'm talking about them. Shake it harder than that. Where, there they come now. Grab those bananas. Four of them. One, two, three. And one more over there. Put them in the container. And put three handfuls of whipped cream. One, two, three. Can you Did she make it? She did not make it. Our judges say no. We have a lead change. Okay, let's move up here quickly. $210 for our obtuse nugatory noggins. They have a $20 lead in control of this $20 question. Yosemite National Park is located in what state? California. Uh, yes, you're right. Add another 20. You now have $230. Tell me. Oh, that sound means the end of the game with $230. Nate and Stephanie have won today's game on Super Sloppy Double Dare. Congratulations. 
$115 a piece, a trip to the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course. Richard Amy, you played great. You have $190. And Harvey, don't we have lovely party gifts today? I wouldn't be a game show without them. It's the Nintendo Power Set with the exciting power pad. You and your friends will run, skip, and jump your way to victory only from Nintendo. And today we'll also give them double delicious, double delicious lunch to take you to paradise. We can do some new paradise punch with pretty new flavor. That's got the tropical taste of paradise. We're getting ready to jump our way through the super sloppy obstacle course. Stay with us. To the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course, where Nate and Stephanie are patiently waiting to run all eight obstacles in 60 seconds, and I believe you're starting, right, Stephanie? That's right. That's what you get to do. You get to start, and by opening up this, you get to dive down the digestive track. We have a few uh, regular ones here and some new ones, some old ones. Stand up, grab that flag, pass it over to Nate. And Harvey, what is the first prize of the day? Well, it's from a Academy Broadway. Our products designed for your carefree outdoor fun. Features machine washable water pump, nylon sleeping bag, and heavy-duty nylon travel bag for Academy Broadway. Take a look at this audience today. We have wall-to-wall -to -wall people. Applaud yourselves, audience. You look terrific up there. Nice to see you. Nate, you have the big kahuna. You have to crawl up this ladder and come down our slide, which has uh, been slicked up, so you'll slide down rather quickly to soften your blow as you get down here. We have all this whipped cream and assorted other gack. You must grab that flag over there, pass it over to Stephanie, and here's prize number two. Casio's PV1000 Advanced Pocket Computer with 8K through 40K RAM capacity. It has 58 scientific functions and a 32 character by four line display from Casio. Number three is the suspension bridge. It's a favorite, and I want you to jump up there. And, Stephanie, you walk all the way across. Now, it does look easy, but it is not that easy. There is currently no flag up there. We will put a flag up there before that all uh, happens. There is. Oh, it fell down. We'll put it up there. Stephanie, don't worry, because I want you to listen to what this prize will be. It's foosball. This is the excitement of soccer in the year. with Monterey's foosball soccer. Fast action fun for the whole family. Well, your, your hair is hard as a rock back there. You've been gacked up from the physical challenges. It's amazing. In one ear and out the other. We have lots of earwax in there. That will help you slide on through. We also have a flag. Your partner will be waiting patiently on the other side. You'll have that flag in your hand, and you'll also have this prize. A new bike. Fusion 500 shifts you into the future with five speeds, radical tires, and space-age features. Fusion 500 from Kent. The future is now. Number five is Thar She Blows. You will notice there are six valves, three over there and three over there. Hit them as quickly as you can. And over here, you will find out that the flag will be spit out of that part of the trumpet. Grab that flag, move on to the next obstacle. But, Harvey, we have a prize here, don't we? Yes, we do. It's from the editors of the Second Peter Botanica. It comes Children's Botanica. Easy to use and understand an exciting color picture. Children's Botanica provides you with the very best from the start. Parents are always stopping me as I go across the country on personal appearance tours saying, get rid of that one with the nose where you got to pick it. That's disgusting. That's why we do it. Uh, <laughs> kids love it. Stick your hand way up those nostrils and find that flag. As soon as you do that, pass it. And Harvey, here's the next prize, right? It's Casio's MT520, a 49-key electronic keyboard with 12 instrument sounds, 12 background rhythms, features eight onboard drum pads from Casio where miracles never cease. Stephanie, any questions? No. How about you, Nate? Nope. All right, number seven is Mirror Maze. You must get down on your hands and knees and crawl all the way through here. There is a flag way on the other side. Have that flag in your hand, pass it to your partner, and here's prize number seven. From high performance, it's Zena Hill's 18-inch television with remote control. Raceful, timeless, compact style that will complement any day four by Zena. Is foot Locker. We have a huge foot with toe jam. That stuff is disgusting. But if you can find a flag amongst all that toe jam and have it in your hand in 60 seconds or less, Harvey, what's the grand prize today? It's a mighty fine mini racing car. Get ready for pure driving and safe and durable, safe and fun to drive. The ultimate driving machine takes go riding into the 21st century. Fun to drive. Fun to drive. Obstacles. They are to be run in 60 seconds or less. I have a good feeling about this one. The racing cars are one of the most popular prizes. That's what you're both going to get if you can do it all. Good luck. Cheer them on, audience. On your mark. Get set. Go. Open that up. Slide on down. There she goes. Stand up and grab that flag. We're moving over to the big kahuna. Obstacle number two. And waiting on the other side for obstacle number three will be Stephanie. There she goes. Whoa. That was terrific. Grab that flag and move across the suspension bridge.
Harvey will tell you everything you want. Mark, they got the Academy Broadway products, the computer, the foosball, the bike, the encyclopedia, the keyboard, the TV. They got the mini racing car, a prize package of over $2,500 each. Well, that was a great run. You guys did it with four seconds remaining. What was the most difficult one for you? Um, I guess the suspension bridge. Attention, Brett, was, uh, that was a hard one for We've got to go. They tell me bye-bye. So goodbye to you. See you again here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. Bye-bye. <laughs> Promotional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Super Sloppy Double Dare gets a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Super Sloppy Double Dare. This is your announcer, Harvey saying Jordan's back here next time for another Big Mondo Jack Attack on Super Sloppy Double Dare. See ya.